The Drug Enforcement Administration tells me the synthetic drug war has to be fought on a molecular level, and that takes time. Because DEA doesn't act uh, knee-jerk react, we have to uh, conduct a scientific study, and everything we do needs to be backed up. For more than a year, the DEA has been working to permanently ban five chemicals used to make fake marijuana sold as K2 or spice. The agency also wants to make some bath salt compounds permanently illegal. Right now, temporary bans are in place. We may never completely stamp out this problem, but it's important that these substances are controlled. The DEA and top scientists agree that a big part of the problem is that synthetic drug distributors are able to cook up new chemical combinations that are legal. It's very easy for a chemist that knows what they are doing to bypass these laws. Scientists say chemical recipes for bath salts and synthetic pot could be changed in infinite ways that makes it hard for law enforcement to keep up. Critics say banning a handful of chemicals can't stop the problem. We know from long decades of experience that these types of drug policies don't save lives in the end. The DEA is looking to Congress to close some loopholes. Sources tell me lawmakers are working with the agency to figure out ways law enforcement can take as many hazardous chemicals as possible off the market. In Washington, I'm Carol Hahn.